I love you was is work that right now taking you through this tutorial for a level applied mathematics and this video I'm going to talk about motion of connected particles involving fixed pulleys so this topic is under mechanics and is suitable for students in both senior 5 and senior 6 offering principal mathematics as part of their combination So there are some points to note before we go to examples. So one is that when two bodies are connected by a string which is light and inextensible, there will be a tension in the string and by Newton's third law, the forces acting on the bodies will have the same magnitude but act in opposite directions. For example, so in this case, these are two particles connected by this string and there, like we said, there will be tension in the string. So this T denotes the tension and I then consider they are acting in opposite directions because of Newton's third law. Now this is the same case if they pass over a pulley. So for example, if this is the pulley and these are particles whereby this string is passing over the pulley and they are hanging freely, it implies that there will also be tension in the string but I think realize that the tension is acting in the direction opposite to each other but same magnitude. So that was one note. Then the second note is that the tension in a light string is the same throughout the string. This tension is unaltered by passing over smooth pulleys or pegs. If however the pulley is rough, the tension will be with the tension will be different on both sides of the pulley so in our case at our level we consider the pulley to be smooth so that is why you see that here the tension is the same throughout the string so this t is the same as this t and same as this t and same as this t so that was not two then not three is that to analyze the motion of the system forces acting on each particle must be considered separately and the equation f equal to ma applied to each particle in turn. So we apply motion second law of f equal to ma on each particle in turn. Now it depends the motion depends on which one is heavier. For example, if a is heavier than b, it implies that a will move downwards and b will move upwards. On the other hand, if B is heavier than A, it implies that B will move downwards and A will move upwards. So now with that note, we can now go to the examples. So example one says that a light inextensible string passing over a smooth light pulley. So always we shall be using smooth pulleys because we don't want the tension to vary. So smooth light pulley and masses of 3 kilograms and 7 new kilograms are attached to its ends. The masses are released from rest when the 7 kilogram mass is 1 meter above the horizontal table. Find the acceleration of the, of the system and the tension in the string. So we shall have to first make a sketch. So we have a fixed pulley and two masses hanging. So while we shall start with this side, we are, now we want to put the forces. So this is a three kilogram mass and this is the seven kilogram mass. So always when you are showing the forces acting, you have to begin with weight so that you don't get confused. So always remember that weight acts vertically downwards irrespective of whether the body is heavier or lighter. So in this case, this is the weight of 3g because this is 3, ki 3 kilograms. Now because of this weight and remembering Newton's third law that action and reaction are equal but opposite, on this part above the body there will be tension but it will be acting upwards. So because this one is acting downwards, the tension here will act upwards. Now because this one is acting upwards, the tension here on the fixed pole will act downwards. So that is this part. What about this part? We shall also still start with the weight. 
So this is the 7G. Always weight will act downwards. Now because this one is acting downwards here it will act upwards. Just as you see it here. And because this is acting upwards here it will act downwards. Like that. So with that we have now shown the forces acting on forces on the particles but now we need to also show the acceleration now for acceleration it depends on which one is heavier now in our case the seven kilogram is heavier than three kilogram meaning that this one will move downwards but this one will move upwards now to know the magnitude of the acceleration you look at the distance moved for example if they cover the same distances it implies that the magnitude of acceleration is the same. For example, if when you look at these bodies, they will cover the same distance. If this one moves a distance x downwards, this will move a distance x upwards, meaning this acceleration will be a downwards, and this here acceleration here will be also a upwards. So always when the distance covered is the same, it implies that acceleration is the same. So we shall come and put here acceleration A which is downwards and here we shall put acceleration A which is upwards. Now from there we shall remember that we apply F equal to MA on each particle separately. Now for example for the 3 kilogram mass it means that the forces for the 3 kilogram mass are these ones. Now these are the forces for the 7 kilogram mass and these are the forces for the fixed pulley. So when we start with the 3 kilogram mass, we shall look at this. Now when you look at that, this is force and this is force, but you look at the, at the acceleration to know which one is heavier. So if you look at this acceleration, it is moving upwards, meaning the resultant force will be T minus 3G equal to MA. So we shall come here and say that T minus 3G is equal to 3A because 3 is mass. So now we shall go to the 7 kilogram mass. So for the 7 kilogram mass, we consider this part, these forces. So acceleration is pointing downwards, meaning the resultant force will be 7g minus t equal to ma, where m is 7. Therefore, we shall come and say 7g minus t is equal to 7a. Now those are two equations and two unknowns. Next, we will be solving them simultaneously. So when I equate, add the two equations, equation 1 plus equation 2, I'll come up with that. So this is equation 1, this is equation 2. I think realize that this one and this one, they will cancel because it is t minus t. Then this and this, 7g minus 4, 3g will, be, will give you 4g, which is this. Then this plus this will give you 10a, which is that. Then I know that g is 9.8, so I'll substitute and remain with a, which is an unknown. Therefore, when I make a the subject, I'll come up with a being equal to... 3.92 meters per second so now that i've got a i can come in equation one and substitute for a in order to get t so when i substitute for i'll come up with that then we in the end i'll come up with t being equal to 41.16 newtons so that's what they wanted now let's see how mass can be awarded So that B1 is for both equation 1 and equation 2, M1 for addition, A1 for output, M1 for substitution, A1 for output. Now we shall go to example 2. Example 2 says the diagram shows a smooth, fix, a smooth pulley fixed on top of a ceiling. The system is moving freely with strings taut. Taut means tight and vertical. If the acceleration of the system is 4.2 meters per second with the 2 kilogram mass moving downwards and the tension, find Roman 1 the tension in the string and Roman 2 the value of m. So in this case they have told us that this one moves downwards and this one, therefore this one will move upwards. So you come and first redraw the diagram given. So that we shall now put the forces. So we shall start with the weight, two kilogram mass. It gives weight of two g acting downwards. Then because this is downwards, here there will be a tension acting upwards. Then on the pulley, it will be a tension also acting downwards. Then come to this weight is mg acting downwards. Then 
here there will be tension acting upwards and also tension here acting downwards then from there remember they told us that the two kilogram mass moves downwards meaning acceleration for the two kilogram mass is downwards and acceleration for the m kilogram mass is upwards so you come and put an acceleration for the m kilogram mass as upwards and this one to be downwards so with that we shall now write our equation so for the two kilogram mass we shall consider these forces and think we see this one is pointing downwards meaning to be 2g minus t equal to 2a where 2 is the mass so we shall come and write 2g minus t equal to 2a but i know that g is 9.8 so i'll substitute for g and i also substitute for a to come up with that equation and in the end i'll come up with t as 11.2 newtons then for roman 2 from and to shall use the m kilogram mass so shall you consider these forces so for those forces is pointing upwards meaning t it will be t minus mg equal to ma therefore we shall come and write that t minus mg is equal to ma the good thing i know t and i know a there are, and i know g as 9.8 so i come and substitute and remain with only m which is an unknown so collecting light terms gives that and making m the subject gives m as 0.8 kilograms so basically that's what they wanted now let's see how mass can be awarded so b1 for the correct force diagram and m1 for substitution a1 for tension m1 for substitution a1 for the mass So now we shall go to example 3. Example 3 says a particle of mass 5 kg is connected by a light inextensible string passing over a smooth fixed light pulley to a light scale pan C as shown in the figure below. C holds the block B. C holds a block B of mass 8 kg. Find the tension in the string and the reaction between B and C. So you start by redrawing the diagram and after that we shall put the forces. So we shall begin by weight. So always begin by weight. So weight acts vertically downwards because downwards you shall put tension upwards and also here tension downwards. Then here this side will be weight also downwards and also tension here upwards and tension here downwards. So those are the forces now we'll, next will be acceleration if you look at these two masses 8 kg and 5 kg 8 is heavier meaning it will move downwards as you can see it here while the 5 kg will move upwards therefore you will come here and put acceleration for this for the 8 it will be downwards and for this it will be upwards they move the same distances therefore the acceleration magnitude value of the acceleration will be the same Now that we have done that, we shall now use F equal to MF. So for the 5 kg mass, we consider these forces. So it is pointing upwards, so it will be T minus 5G equal to 5A, which is that. Then for the scale pan and the 8 kg mass, we consider these forces. So it will be, it's pointing downwards, so it will be 8G minus T equal to 8A, which is that. So now we have two equations and two unknowns. Therefore, we shall say that equation 1 plus equation 2 will give us that. Therefore, when I add this and this will cancel, this with this will give me 3G, which is that, and this plus this will give me 13A. G is 9.8, so I substitute and remain with A as an unknown. Then when I make A the subject, I'll come up with A being equal to 2.2615 meters per second squared. So before we go to the next slide, this, let's see these marks. So B1 will be for the correct first diagram drawn correctly. 
another b1 for both these two equations m1 for addition and a1 for acceleration then from equation 1 we shall substitute for g and for a to come up with t being equal to 60.3075 newtons so that is the tension they wanted now they also wanted the reaction so considering forces that act on the 8 kilogram mass for the 8 kilogram mass there will be weight and reaction now they want this value of r so because pointing downwards so the acceleration will be we have already got it as 2.2615 Therefore, shall use still F equal to MA. The resultant force will now be HG minus R equal to MA. So, HG minus R equal to 8A. Therefore, G is 9.8 and A is 2.2615. Therefore, I have only R as an unknown. Therefore, when I make all the subject, it will be 60.308 newtons. So basically, that's what they wanted. Now let's see how mass can be awarded. So M1 for substitution, A1 for the tension, M1 for substitution, M, this should be A1. So put here A1 for the reaction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with a set of questions still on motion of connected particles involving fixed pulleys. That brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the next video will be on this. We will have the solution. So the assignment left. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video with the solutions has been uploaded. As well, thank you for watching and also if you know any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that you can all benefit us a family.